Who killed Ashley Oakland? It's a question residents in America's heartland desperately want answered. Ashley was a brilliant and popular businesswoman in her hometown. She had a successful real estate career, friends everywhere, and a loving family who adored her. But her bright light was snuffed out when a monster gunned her down, execution style. Ashley was murdered at an open house. It was a sunny afternoon, 2 p.m. Ashley set her calendar to show this model townhouse in a new development in West Des Moines. She had just laid out her sales brochures when someone walked in the door, and they weren't interested in buying. They had murder on their mind. Someone next door heard a loud commotion, then two gunshots. Ashley was shot in the head and chest. She was on the floor, bleeding to death. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital, but it was too late. She died in the ER. What happened to Ashley Oakland is evil. Over 1,600 people came to Ashley's funeral to say goodbye. Her younger sister, Brittany, led the eulogies. We're really going to miss you, Ash. And we hope that through the countless memories, we'll find the strength to live without you. Now, for the first time on national TV, Brittany and the rest of Ashley's family speak out about Ashley and the desperate search for her killer. It's an emotional interview you'll see only on Crime Watch Daily. She was my best friend. Brittany was two and a half years younger than Ashley. She can't hold back the tears talking about the big sister she looked up to. I think about her every single day. She was a big part of her life. She just had a big heart and a big smile, and everybody wanted to be her friend. Brittany shudders at the thought of what might have gone through Ashley's mind the moment she saw the cold steel barrel of a gun pointed right at her. I hope that she didn't have a lot of time to think about it. And that she wasn't afraid or in any type of pain when it happened. Even though Ashley made friends wherever she went, her dad, Tim, wonders, did Ashley know her killer? I would guess it's somebody that she worked with or somebody that she was, a, you know, somebody she knew or somebody that was a client. Just, I don't know, can't imagine. Just somebody that might be jealous of her, didn't want her to do good or was upset that she was doing good as a realtor. Ashley's big brother, Josh, wants the case solved now and the killer caught. It would be nice if they would if they would solve it so that we could move on with things. Someone's still out there. Cops are baffled. Ashley didn't appear to have any enemies. So what's the motive for murder? Police are asking these questions. Was it a friend? Was it a coworker? Was it a competitor? Was it an irate buyer or seller? Or was it a complete stranger? Ashley may have known her killer. West Des Moines Sergeant Brent Cox says the case is far from cold. Two detectives are working full time. They've received nearly 800 leads and interviewed 600 people. So far, the only real clue, a black Cadillac Escalade spotted at the crime scene around the time the murder occurred. Sergeant Cox says he believes this was no random murder. They had a lot of different people to look at. And one of the options or one of the uh, groups was obviously coworkers or realtors that she may have known. That was one of the um, avenues that the investigators were looking at, was that it, it could possibly be a, a realtor. As of today, no one has been named a suspect or even a person of interest. Ashley touched so many lives, so her family helped build this park as a living tribute to her. It's the Ashley Oakland Star Playground. Local businesses and ordinary citizens raised more than $600,000 to build it. One thing people always remember of Ashley is how special she made you feel. And that's why everyone got together and built an all-inclusive park in, in her honor because it includes everybody, and that's exactly the kind of person she was. Life goes on for Ashley's family, but here at the edge of the lush cornfields, life will never be quite the same. Somehow, West Des Moines, Iowa lost its innocence when murder visited their town.
More than anything, Brittany wants closure. She won't rest until cops find the person responsible for killing her big sister. Someone has to know something, whether it's in the state of Iowa or somewhere across the United States, but somebody knows something. 